Welcome back to Breakfast Television. I'm so excited about this segment because my kids have been asking about redoing their bedrooms, yes. but where to start and how much to budget. DIY expert Leanne Allaire from City Line is here now with some advice. Yes. So great to see you again. Good to see you too. I'm Good to timing that. on this one. Yes, because you have a son who's requested do, a makeover. I, well, actually, and my daughter too. Both of them, they want new rooms. So where do we start? Okay, well, I think the biggest thing is to really cater to their personality. And I recently yes. did my youngest son's bedroom okay. by request, i.e. demand. Uh, right. He asked for it to be done. And granted, he had the gnarly, outdated nursery. <laughs> so this is the before, obviously. He had inherited the nursery from our older son. Of course. Of and course. you know, you know what happens with the second child? Yes. They kind of get lost in the mix. Absolutely. So his request to me threw me for a loop. He asked for a comedy club. A comedy club? He is an aspiring <gasps> look comedian. At this. So yes, high on the priority list was a brick wall that he asked for, which I did with that inexpensive peel and stick wallpaper. He wanted a desk to sit and write his jokes, so I made a DIY <laughs> waterfall desk over top of a dresser. And then he wanted a space that he could showcase his personality, i.e. whoopee cushions, oh. rubber chickens, <laughs> all of the little fun accoutrements. So I love this. As much as it was about fun, I, my goal was to also make it functional. For sure. Because certainly when it comes to a themed room, it's easy to get wrapped up in that right. theme, regardless of what the children are yes. into, and forget the important things. Like, like a, a bed. Desk. <laughs> and a and desk. A desk. It's funny, he did not feel that a bed was high on the priority list. He <laughs> didn't need that in his room for the makeover. That's hilarious. So because I'm naturally very very frugal yes. and I didn't want to blow the budget on a theme because what comes today is gone tomorrow with this kids. What so they true. like this year, they might not like the next. Absolutely. I wanted to create some DIY projects that were super, super affordable, also transitional, but pieces that you could essentially almost make over three, five years from now oh. to fit their taste and mood. And with using paint, you can change the color of a lot that, of things like on that. your own and completely change the vibe of the space. So oh. the first thing I did to show off his accoutrement of gag <laughs> jokes was to create some really inexpensive industrial looking shelving okay. using pipes so when you go to the hardware store yeah. each piece is about a buck and change wow. to buy these shelves cost me the ones in the room cost me about $35 for the entire for wall to create it? yes wow. and this is a super Pinterest worthy project you see a lot of industrial pipe shelving okay. and even at retail there's a lot that you can buy but it's expensive so sure. if you're doing it yourself there's a couple things to keep in mind okay First of all, when you first buy the pipes, they're really greasy. They come pre-greased so that they're easy to thread in the okay. packaging. So you want to use, and you can even see it on my fingers oh, here, sure. it's really yeah. greasy. So you want to use a good cleaner, like a cred cutter um, degreaser for okay. sure. Rinse those off, make sure they're really well dry. And then the most important thing after that is using a paint product meant for galvanized metal. Most spray paints won't adhere to galvanized metal okay. because of the, the chemical reaction. For sure. So using a zinc product, you spray that on first, and you can see these, this pipe compared to the first one here. Oh, look at that. What yes, a difference. It's, it acts almost like a primer coat, and then you can do anything. Now, I chose matte black, but I have an example here that you can go with something a little more glam and almost oh, do a 14 karat gold option within the space. That's and really, fun. And this is the great example of down the road, you could yes. paint this blue, green, yellow, pink, whatever okay. you wanted to do in the space. So we're running out of time quickly. Message so let's boards. get to this fun stuff. Yes, he wanted a space to write his, his jokes. <laughs> of course. So instead of just <laughs> going and buying a chalkboard or a message yeah. board, I picked up handy panels that are under $4 each, used a jigsaw to cut out any shape. So what I ended up doing in his room was a think bubble. So here it is here. Yeah. And for this one, I base coated it in chalked paint, used a tester's pen to outline yes. it. But then this was the secret product. Okay. Using clean dry erase paint oh. over top so you can do any color any backdrop and turn anything into a message board just like that with that spray chalked paint for this one more of a comic book theme you can bring a theme to life with a message board just like that just amazing like that. Leanne, thank you so thank much. You. It's so fun to see you as always. You always have great ideas. Cheap and cheerful. Cheap and cheerful. Gotta <laughs> love it. 